standard 8th chapter number 1 living world and classification of microbes why there is a need for classification according to 2011 census around 87 million species of living organisms are found on earth including land and sea so to study a vast number it was essential to divide them into groups and subgroups considering the similarities and differences this process of dividing living organisms into groups and subgroup is called biological classification in the past many biologists like Carl Linnaeus, Heichel, Chatton, Copeland divided the living world into different groups but today we consider the Whittaker's classification Robert Harding Whittaker was an American ecologist and in the year 1969 he divided the living organisms into five groups. Let us consider the criteria Whittaker used for the classification. First, complexity of cell structure. Second, complexity of organisms third mode of nutrition fourth lifestyle and fifth phylogenetic relationship we shall study all these criteria in detail criteria for classifying the living organisms the first criteria is complexity of cell structure Based on the complexity, living organisms are classified into prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are underdeveloped cells. They have few organelles, no well-defined nucleus and mostly unicellular. Whereas eukaryotic cells are highly developed cells they have well-defined nucleus. Most of the cell organelles are present. Second criteria, complexity of organisms. Based on the complexity of organisms, they are divided into unicellular and multicellular. Examples of unicellular organisms, paramoecium, amoeba, bacteria, and yeast. Examples of multicellular organisms, insects, fishes, tree, man, birds, etc. Third, mode of nutrition. Based on the mode of nutrition, organisms are divided into three groups. The first group is autotropic organisms, second saprophytic and third heterotropic. Autotropic are those organisms which can prepare their own food, example plants. Saprophytes are those living organisms which depend on dead and decaying organic matter for food. Heterotrophs are those group of organisms which depend on other living organisms for food. The fourth criteria is based on life cycle. According to this, the organism is categorized into three groups. First, we have the producers, example, plants. 
Second, we have the consumers, which includes all the animals. And third, we have the decomposers, that is, those organisms which feed on dead and decaying organic matter. The fifth and the last criteria for classification is phylogenetic relationship. Phylogenetic means it is based on the evolutionary history. So organism is divided into two groups. The first evolution from prokaryotic to eukaryotic and second the evolution from unicellular to multicellular. This brings us to Whittaker's five kingdom classification. This is a very important table which gives an overview of the classification of organisms. As you can see, the living world is divided into two groups, the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, we have the kingdom Monera. Eukaryotes are further divided into two groups, unicellular and multicellular. In unicellular, we have the kingdom Protista. Multicellular animals or the organisms are further divided into two groups, those with cell wall and those without a cell wall. Organisms which have a cell wall are divided into two groups, those which are not able to synthesize or produce their own food, we have the kingdom fungi. And those organisms which are capable of synthesizing or preparing their own food, we have the kingdom plantae. In multicellular organisms, those without the cell wall, we have the kingdom animalia.